Hey everyone, Scorn here. This is going to be my episode on Planetary Annihilation System Designer, which effectively is the same thing as a map editor for this video game. So the first thing that we're going to do is click on the System Designer button on the left-hand side, and just as our first map here, we're going to make the same thing as with Annihilator System, and we're going to copy it to Pacific. So we're going to make two metal planets that are both 500 size with 100 metal nodes apiece. In the top middle of the screen is the system name. This is the name as it's going to be displayed in all of the lists when you're picking your map, so make sure to pick a good one. In the top right corner is the edit system info. This is where you get to set your description, your creator name, as well as the version of the system if you choose to make up your own version numbers. The white concentric circle that goes outwards from the planet that you're placing is the planet's orbit. The blue ball that leads forwards out of the planet is the direction of its orbit. You can always change this outside of that based off the planet's velocity if you don't like the way that the planet is headed. Once you've placed a planet, you can click on it in the top left corner to bring up the Edit Planet panel. Here you can change the name of the planet, its size, its height range, water coverage, water depth, temperature, and you can even set the planet if it's supposed to be symmetrical for its features, including the metal spots as well as the starting spot. Under the gameplay panel, you can set the metal density as well as the metal clusters, including how many thrusters the planet would take if you want it to be able to use the Halley thruster system to turn the planet into a weapon, and you can set how many spawn points there are on the planet here. You can also generate the terrain and gameplay features here, that way you can see what the map will look like prior to playing the match. You can use the Save As template to save all of the statistics of your planet so that you can copy a one later. When you close down the Edit Planet panel, you'll see the name of the planet in the top right corner. This is where you can change the mass of the planet, its velocity, and you can remove the planet as well. The only way to see this panel is to close out of the Edit Planet panel previously. So if you click on a planet, and then close out of it, you'll see this Belarus Prime here, or whatever the name of your planet's panel is, and this is where you can remove a planet without restarting an entire system. And I know I've heard people complain that they don't know how to delete a planet once it's been placed. The recent button in the bottom middle of the screen will show all of the planets that you've placed across several different system designers that you've done. Even if you've worked on them days ago, it will just have the list of your previously worked on planets there. In the My Planets at the bottom, this is where your saved templates will be. I have a previously saved template from another map, as well as the Belarus Prime here, and we're going to paste another one down so that we have two identical starting planets. Once I have the second planet down, I'm going to have to click off the Use as Starting Planet button to make sure that each of the planet can be used as a starting planet in the match. And then once the planets are down, I'm going to change the name of one of the planets. That way I can make sure that one of the planets has a different name, so it's more clear as to which planet that you've settled on. Once I've done that, I'll generate the terrain and gameplay. That way both planets will be completely generated. Once all your planets have been placed, I definitely recommend going through all of the tabs to make sure their statistics are exactly as you want them. You don't want to be saving your system and then having to go back in and doing minor edits every time, so I like to do one final check here. Under the Advanced Edit tab, you can specifically go into a planet and edit every single feature, including where every single doodad is placed on the planet, but it takes a lot of time, and once you put a planet into Advanced Edit mode, you can't take it out of the Advanced Edit mode. You can also change the velocity of your planets. As you see here, if I change the velocity from negative 152 to negative 1520, that the distance of that blue orb dramatically increases from the planet, as my planet would now be moving 10 times faster than previously. I don't know if planets can physically crash into other planets on their rotation, as I haven't tested this myself yet. The Save System button in the top right corner will save it to the list of local systems that you have, and if you export the system, you can open up a Windows File Explorer and choose where you're saving the system to. That way you can send the file to your friends or even upload it onto the internet so that other users can download and play it. As you can see here, in less than five minutes, we've managed to copy the basic Annihilator system, and all of our planets have different names but the exact same statistics. I hope you learned a thing or two by watching the System Designer video. I've got more content on my channel. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Scorn Claw, over and out.